cylinder head removal starts by loosening the star grips of the pump space covering segments, removing covers and putting aside. The thermal insulation plate on the upper and lateral part of the exhaust side, covering the clearance of the exhaust cladding, is removed. An eye bolt is fastened to the exhaust cladding segment and secured by means of a crane. Now the retaining clips on the exhaust cladding segment can be unlocked from the exhaust side. After unlocking, the exhaust cladding segment is put down on a suitable place by means of a crane. The thermal insulation plate can now be loosened and removed from the rear panel of the exhaust cladding. A rear panel segment of the exhaust cladding between exhaust pipe and cylinder head is loosened and lifted out. The exhaust bend is separated from the cylinder head by loosening and removing the screws. The valve cover is removed. The camshaft cover of the camshaft casing is removed in the middle area below the cylinder head in order to move the inlet and exhaust cams to base circle. To facilitate cylinder head removal, the rocker arm bracket is removed. After that, the push rods are removed. Now the protective caps are taken off the cylinder head studs. The left hand indicator valve is loosened and turned to the left of the cylinder head. The valve of the adjacent cylinder head is loosened and taken out completely. On the injection pump there is a fuel injector delivery pipe. The thrust screw of this pipe is loosened and removed. On the cylinder head there is a second thrust screw that has also to be taken out. The transverse thrust piece with cover is loosened by means of a lever and pulled to the left out of the injection pump. The protective sleeve is put back into the cylinder head. Finally the radial piece is removed from the cylinder head. By means of the hexagon socket screw key, the screws supporting the media ducts on the cylinder head 
are removed so that the cylinder head is disconnected from the adjacent cylinder heads. The hydraulic tightening device is put on. Make sure that the holes of the round nuts are easily accessible through the slots of the sleeves. The intermediate pieces are screwed onto the cylinder head studs and the hydraulic jacks onto the intermediate pieces. The high pressure hoses and distributors are connected to the high pressure pump. The valve on the high pressure pump is open. One slot on the 2.5 mm hydraulic jack is adjusted by approximately one turn. The valve is closed again and the four cylinder head studs are simultaneously and steplessly stretched at a hydraulic pressure of 600 bar. After that, the round nuts are loosened by means of a pin. The hydraulic jacks are relieved by releasing the pressure on the high pressure pump. The hydraulic device can now be removed and the round nuts are unscrewed. To ensure safe removal of the cylinder head, the exhaust temperature probe must be dismantled. The cylinder head lifting device with the attached hexagon nuts is slinked to the cylinder head and lifted by means of a crane. When the cylinder head is at sufficient height, the recess is inspected for damage. After inspection, the cylinder head is put onto a soft support. Before extracting the piston, the exhaust gasket is removed. The anti-polishing ring is taken out of the upper section of the cylinder liner. After having removed the anti-polishing ring, the piston is turned to a top dead center. In the middle of the piston crown, a lifting eye bolt is screwed in to ensure safe piston removal. After unscrewing and removing the crankcase doors, the crankshaft is turned to the appropriate position for piston removal. The crank pin is then at 20 degrees before top dead center towards crankshaft side. Now the big end bearing bolts can be loosened and removed from the bottom end of the connecting rod. The big end bearing cap is lifted out of the crankcase and inspected for damage. The lower and upper bearing shell is also removed from the crank pin and inspected for damage. The piston is slowly pulled through the liner and the bottom end is carefully guided into the liner. After removal, the piston is also inspected for damage and put into a suitable fixture. <laughs>